Top 5 reasons why Blitz Mode f***ing rocked. Holy shit! I know what you were thinking I was gonna say, and it wasn't that. Listen, I don't have it out for game modes, but if there's a particular game mode that happens to come out and I don't like it, I'm gonna make a video on it. That being said, if there is a game mode that happens to come out that, dare I say, is the greatest Fortnite game mode of all time, I'm gonna make a video about that too. I never did videos on explosive, solid gold, sneaky silencers, because I just, I didn't think there was much to say. But ladies and gentlemen, today, we are going to be talking about Blitz. And honestly, that might have been a little bit of a polarizing statement that I just made. Blitz is the best Fortnite game mode of all time. I would even go further on that notion and argue that it may be better than the original three game modes, which is just Fortnite. But I genuinely think that without a doubt, this is the best LTM to date. So today in this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at five reasons why I love this game mode. I'm also going to point out two flaws that I've seen with the game mode. And lastly, we're going to talk about the future implications of, of what this game mode is going to do to Fortnite. Overall, I think that Blitz is going to be very good for Fortnite, but it is important to ask some questions of like, you know, what is a really good game mode like this going to do to the normal three game modes? Anyways, though, first, let's talk about why this game mode is awesome. So I'm actually going to do this portion of the video in a top five style, Lex, I'm looking at you. Lex beat me to this video because I got too carried away playing the game mode. Anyways, coming in at number five. I mean, this one is a little bit obvious, but I think it's the most important thing of Blitz is I like the fast pace. Now again, that's probably the most obvious statement you could make is like, that's the whole point of Blitz. But what I mean is I, I really like things being sped up. For me, when you play a game of Fortnite, it starts off as you land, you get some kills at the start, then you run around for a little bit, then you start getting into the gunfight to get to that end game and you win. But in this game mode, it kind of eliminates that whole like running around for a few minutes segment. That's what I specifically mean on the whole fast paced thing. Like obviously, yes, everything is faster paced, but why do I like the fast paced of it? Well, it eliminates a lot of the, the, the downtime in the game mode. Which takes me to our number four point, and that is hectic. These points kind of play off of each other, but this game mode is stupid hectic. If you spawn in near the circumference of the circle, there is a very good chance that you basically just have to land, kill people as fast as you possibly can, and get out of there. But more importantly, as soon as you start moving, there's just, there's people. There are so many people everywhere in this game mode, and it just keeps you on your toes. You are forever just playing in absolute insanity. It is pure and utter chaos. And I know a lot of you might think that I would, of all people, say like, I don't like that, but it's so much fun. Now there is an issue with the nature of this hecticness that I'll get into a little bit later, but I think it is also fair to say that it's really frustrating when you run into too many teams and just get completely four-way surrounded. But overall, the pacing and the hecticness I think is a good thing for the game. Number three, building. So on day one of this game mode, they had it so that chests gave you a hundred of a material and basically within three trees, you could be at 999 wood. They've reduced that a bit, but you're still very likely to be running around with over 500 materials at any given point. And in my opinion, that is amazing. Absolutely love just running into a team and having no fear of running out of buildables. It leads to some absolute insane building fights, which are always just amazing. I mean, any moment you can feel like Ninja is a good moment in Fortnite. I don't get to feel like Ninja very often. <laughs> But for real, building is one of the most critical and important things to Fortnite and just accelerating that whole dynamic of the game mode is amazing. Furthermore, and this leads me into my number two points, it makes you better. Now first off, I think that everyone having more materials makes everyone better at building because it challenges you to, to build in different ways and really, really outplay people, outmaneuver people with that building. But overall even, I think that this game mode really makes people a better player. There is no downtime. There is no let's loot and then we'll heal up and go. This this game mode is just go, go, 
go. There's been so many times where I just have to like run by lots of items because the storm's coming, I'm gonna die. Furthermore, I find so often in this game mode, I'm running around with less than 50 HP because of that hecticness. And I really do think that that also makes you a better player. I talked about this a little bit in my shield video, how probably nowadays the average player you're going to run into is at 150 HP. Well, I would say in this game mode, it, it, it is modestly max 100. If you have 100 HP after the second circle, you're doing quite well. And again, learning how to adapt to those crazy situations makes you a better player. And last but not least, and I think this is absolutely huge, I am so happy they did this, squads and solos. Epic Games, if you are watching this, could you please introduce duos? I know Lex said it too, but like, duos in this game mode would be would be perfect. In my opinion, at least gameplay wise, duos is the most exciting yet challenging of the three original. And I think if you made duos for Blitz, it would just be game over. I would never play anything else again. But anyways, the fact that they gave us solo for this game mode is amazing. It is, whew, it is a real hectic time. So ultimately what I like about this game mode is it captures everything that is fun about Fortnite. It throws out all those down times and just gives you this cocaine sandwich of intensity. And before any of you say, no, I've never had a cocaine sandwich. It's, it's a form of expression. It's just a really awesome condensed version of everything that is good about Fortnite. And just one other thing that I want to touch on that Lex actually commented on in his video is that the thing that's really cool about this game mode is it caters to everyone. It is really catering to hardcore players. It's really catering to the casual and it's really catering to noobs. Every single group of people that, that play this game mode seem to like it just because it appeals to what they like about Fortnite. Anyways, though, that being said, uh, this would not be a TSP video if I didn't throw out a few things that I think could be improved on. And before I go any further, let me reiterate that this is my favorite Fortnite game mode of all time. I honestly think I might like it more than solos, duos, and squads. So I only really have two issues with this game mode, and the first one I already touched on, which are what I call four-way cluster f so due to the small circle, you're much more likely to run into people. This is normally a good thing. Your squad sees another squad, they engage. This ensuing gunfight triggers people to your left, right, back, and behind the people that you're fighting to also hear, oh gee, there's a fight going on, and then you've got multiple squads rushing into the same area, and you die. Oh ah. my god, this is a nightmare. Oh lord, man. Holy fuck is going on! <laughs> this game just is a hundred. Oh. It's just not zero to hundred. It's just you spawn in. You, it's a hundred, dude. <laughs> And that's not something that I'm really going to complain about. It is a, a detrimental feature, but at the end of the day, it's just a condition of the nature of the game mode, and, and it's, it is what it is. The only other thing that might pose as a problem with Blitz is it really caters to noobs. The only issue is that you can really just sit on the outskirts of the circle, let supply drops come down as they are in huge numbers, and essentially just, just stock up from those. I've landed at Wailing Woods, made it top two with one kill, and ended that game with an RPG, a scar, and some other just stupidly good loot for how many kills I had. More importantly, again though, as I said, I landed at Wailing Woods. You can really easily stock off on OP stuff from the supply drops, and I don't think that's necessarily bad, but some may argue it is. Is it fair that you can get super stocked up playing like a noob as you can playing really aggressively? I think it's okay. If you're gonna win a game, well, you're gonna win a game because you're better than that noob, so it's fine. Again, though, I think those are two things to at least take note of. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get to the most important part of this video. And before we actually get to that, I'm going to do something a little bit differently. I'm running a giveaway on this video, and it's basically to get a general consensus of what you guys think. I didn't say it at the start of the video because I wanted people to hear all that before I, I actually posed the question, which will make you eligible to win the giveaway. Anyways, $25 worth of V-Bucks. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, but the way to enter is this. Comment down below whether you think this game mode is better than solos, squads, duos, or all three of those. I know there's gonna be people that think solid gold's better, explosive only is better, that, you know, there's there better game modes, but the real question that I wanna know is, do you think Blitz is better than 
the OG3 Fortnite games. And hey, you actually get rewarded for making it through to that point in the video. Anyways though, there is a reason that I'm doing this. There's actually two sort of ironic reasons why I don't like this game mode. The first is that it's a limited time mode and it's going to end, which isn't actually a reason that I don't like it. You see where I'm coming from. The second reason, and in my opinion, the most important thing is the worst thing about this game mode might be that it's the best thing to ever happen to Fortnite. I play a lot of Fortnite to begin with, but this game has sucked my soul for the last two days. And that's why I wanna talk about this with you guys. The people that actually made it through to this part in the video. I don't wanna say outright that Blitz is better than solos, duos, or squads, but I think there is a lot of, of points of argument to suggest that it is, which was like the last part of this video. Now the question that I'm going to leave you guys and I'm going to pose is, is that a good thing? So on one side, on the absolute objective and I think the most rational side of things, yeah, you've introduced something into Fortnite that makes the game better, that makes it more enjoyable, that makes it just a, a better experience. Now maybe you don't like Blitz and that's fine, but I still think that's an important question to ask. But the counter argument that I have to that, and I'm not even saying that I agree with this idea, I just think it's an idea worth exploring, is, is having this amazing game mode going to make the other three obsolete? Is Blitz going to make no one want to play the other three game modes anymore? I actually think that the OG3 are much more strategic, skill-based, and overall uh, more challenging but the, not as fun. But what I'm getting at, and just again posing the question is, if Blitz is so popular that no one really wants to play at least as much of the other three, is that a bad thing? I'm not really sure, and I just wanna get your guys' opinion on that. But I will end this video on a positive note. I'm seeing everywhere, everybody wants permanent Blitz, and I gotta agree with that, yes, absolutely, at least in squads. Actually, I take that back, I want it in everything. Anyways though, even if there is no permanent blitz. What if this actually changed our original Fortnite? What if developers look at the huge success of blitz and they say, you know, what we can gather from this is that people like more fast paced gameplay. So instead of keeping blitz, what if we just fine tune our original game modes a little bit? So don't have it as aggressive as blitz, but you know, have it like, okay, this is uh, you know a little bit faster than our normal Fortnite. Maybe chests give us 40 wood instead of 30. You know, little things like towards the direction of Blitz, but not that extreme. I think there's clear evidence that people like a speed up of game pace and a condensing of all the good aspects of Fortnite. So even if this doesn't last, you know, there's no Blitz, I think that this overall is, is gonna make Fortnite uh, better. N no matter what, hands down. Anyways, that's gonna be our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I just, I'm loving making these like in-depth, whatever you call this style of video. I don't even know what it is, but it, it's a lot of fun and I appreciate those that make it all the way through to the end. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Again, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. You know what that giveaway was all about if you made it through and uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, yeah.